Today, in the wood yard, we're gonna take this wood, throw it in the truck, we're gonna go deliver it, we're gonna come back, we're gonna throw a whole bunch more wood into the trailer and deliver that. It's gonna be awesome. Here we go. So, I got an order for one face cord, or a third of a cord, or a rick, whatever you wanna call it. It's all the same. It's a row, eight feet long, four feet high. 16 inch pieces that's what it is so anyway we're gonna load this in and we're gonna go deliver it and then i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna load up my trailer with a full cord that would be like three face cords i'm gonna have to load that up and then we're gonna deliver that so that's what's happening today so just a few deliveries a couple deliveries and uh then after that we'll see what happens i don't know what i'm gonna do i got the whole day to do whatever I want. But what I want to do is deliver some wood, take it to its new home where it can be happy, and then bring home some paper with some pictures of dead presidents. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna load this up, and we're gonna go unload it. There we go. This wood that I am loading is wood that I never stacked. I just cut it and just split it. It was what was uh, the pieces from the truckload that I cut that when I split them open, they were dry, dry, dry on the inside. So I didn't even uh, bother stacking them or throwing them out the pile. I kind of separated it as I was splitting. And what's nice about that is all I got to do is uh, throw it in and uh, go deliver it. So that's what I'm going to do. And this wood, I tested it and it's all in the teens, it's like 16, 17, 15%. I tested three or four different chunks, chunks. And the pieces that I have here, when I split them, um, they were uh, just crackly. You could tell there's no moisture to them at all. Uh, it was all cut from dead standing wood. So the stuff when I got it was dry. And uh, one of the ways to tell when your wood is dry, obviously, when you're splitting it is that you can see that there's no moisture there's no bark on it which helps and then i'll show you a little something here the pieces that oops, I almost died there fell down the pieces i got here i put it in the sun so you can see they're like this you can see it's dry all the way through and there's some spots in here where there's i don't know what you call it it's like checking or it's almost like where it's almost too dry it's starting to get dry, dry rot in here there's quite a bit of this stuff and on the ends you can see it's all got the little dots in there because it's starting to starting to rot and uh but it's still solid wood um but it's dry and it's ready to burn right now so i'm just gonna throw it in and go deliver it and we're gonna do it again So there it is, a beautiful load of wood going to its new home where it will be very happy. Awesome stuff. It's dry, dry, dry. It's very, very nice wood. This is about as good as it gets. It's a uh, wood that was cut from dead standing trees, like I mentioned, and uh, just dry, really nice. I mentioned that it was dry. I think I might have once or twice. And for those of you that want to know, no, I have never broke my window throwing wood in ever in 50 years of throwing wood into a pickup. It's never happened. I do have a board made to go in front of there, but I use it a couple times, but I don't throw the wood like at the window and I don't throw it so it bounces to hit the window. I throw it so it hits the wood all the time and I have put a little backspin. Never broke a window yet, but it could happen. And if it does, you will get to see it. It will be recorded. So we're gonna go deliver this load right now. There we go. So there it is, unloaded, ready to be burned. Down the road to the next one. It is now a couple hours later from my last delivery. I got a text from the guy that I was supposed to deliver to today. He had to work late, real late tonight, and he's not gonna be home. So I'm still gonna load the wood uh, now. I'm gonna get all loaded into the trailer, and then first thing in the morning, I'm in delivery. He's gonna be home in the morning. So that's what I do now. I'm just gonna load up three face cords, or one full cord, or three thirds of a cord or a bush cord, whatever you want to call it. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to load it up right now. So 
So this is going to a guy that heats with wood and he said he's getting low. He thought he would have enough and he didn't. So he's getting another full cord here. And this is the good stuff. This stuff is all about a year and a half old. So excellent wood. It's all oak. And all I gotta do is chuck it in. Don't have to measure it because it's on pre-measured piles here. Once again, the sun has set, the big glowing orb has gone down. I backed up the trailer right into this area here, it's because it's on my drive here. I, I pulled it out from where I was, right over there, backed it in here, disconnected the trailer, and I'm going to be putting my lock on. I do lock it every night when I leave, when I'm done with it for the day, so I put a, a hitch lock so no one can borrow my trailer permanently. And uh, the wood is in, there it is, it is a full cord I chucked in, that was a pre-measured pile over there. I had. Uh, three face cords in there, our full cord, threw it on and it's ready to go. So first thing in the morning, I'm going to be delivering it. And you're going to see that right after this because I'm putting today's and tomorrow's videos together. So I'll see you in one second. It is now the next day, next morning, I should say. And here's the wood from last night I loaded. We're going to go deliver it right now. It's a beautiful day today. Sun is shining. Birds are singing. It's about 25 degrees and it's supposed to warm up 20 degrees today. It's supposed to be get to the mid 40s. Sweet. Here we go. So I am doing the voiceover because the wind noise was absolutely horrific on this location where I delivered this wood. There was like 30, 40 mile an hour steady winds and the noise from the mic from the wind was so bad I think my ears were bleeding when I was trying to do the editing. So I just took all the sound away because it was bad. So I'm sorry that you're not going to get to hear one of your favorite sounds in the world sound of dry wood hitting the ground and sounding like bowling pins clattering. Just not going to hear it. I'm really sorry about that. But the good news is after I get done with this delivery, I'm going to go cut down a whole bunch of trees. My wood yard had a bunch of trees that were leaning over the wood piles and I decided to get rid of them. And there were some really cool ones that had real heavy leans that I got to turn quite a bit and move them away from the wood piles. So you're going to get to see that coming up right about now i am back from my wood delivery and i ordered a couple truckloads of oak from john a couple couple loads of the barkless oak and he said he's going to come this week but he's not here yet and i got all of my splitting done that i had from my last couple piles so i really don't have anything to work on in the wood yard i mean i do there's always stuff to do but what i think i'm going to do today because i got time and it's such a nice day i've been wanting to cut these uh, trees down here. They're just box elders. They hang over the top of my wood and when they get leaves they start to sag down. And I've cut a few down over the years along here that have been in the way. I cut a couple of them right back in here and back over in this area. But all these trees right in here and they're kind of starting to die anyway. The problem is, is that, well number one is really windy today. The trees are just a whipping out. There's like 40 mile an hour gusts today. But the problem is, is that I've got all this wood right here and they're leaning so heavy, they're gonna fall on top of this wood. So I know it's gonna be a pain because when they come down, more than likely they're gonna disturb the wood piles and I'll probably have some, maybe have a pile get partially knocked over or knock some pieces off and I have to cut on top of them. But I've got the time to do it. And uh, it's a nice day today. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna start the saws, I get them out. I got them sharpened already, get them out. And maybe I'll start right back over here cut these down because these are pretty easy here they won't hurt anything um me that one's not hurting a thing back over there i might just leave that one but these these two right here for sure this one this big one right here and then this cluster right in through here this lone guy right here i'm leaving him because that's a walnut tree i planted a long time ago and he's taking a lot of abuse i've trimmed it off a couple times now and it's starting to grow i'm gonna let that grow that's a black walnut but these here i think what i'm gonna do is just bite the bullet and uh, start cutting on them. I'm gonna 
crawl back there and maybe I'll cut them up higher so that they fall kind of down to the top so it's not getting wedged in there and then I'll cut the stump off, you know, cut the chunks off. But all of these, you can see how much, because I'm standing right underneath it right now, you can see how much this hangs over the top of the wood here. So it creates a lot of shade right in here. And they're not great trees anyway. So I mean, kind of my plan is to open this up as much as possible. I've been cutting a lot of other trees down that you've seen. And uh, I want to get as much sunlight into the wood yard as possible. So that's what I'm going to do. And uh, you can see from here, if you look, you can see how much they hang over the top. These trees are way over and they kind of sag down once they get leaves on. Every year they get, because as, as you know, um, box elder, every year they tend to lean more and more and more and more until they either break off or touch the ground. And they're not the greatest trees, um, but that's what I'm going to do with them. So that's what's going to happen. We're going to start cutting right now.
So there it is. A couple of box elders are on the ground. For those of you that have never cut box elder, it's a considered like a trash tree, but it burns. It's uh, similar to like a soft maple or silver maple or like a aspen. Um, not a lot of BTUs in it, probably half of what some of the better woods produce like hickory or oak, but it burns fine. It's nice for starting fires and I sell all this for campfire wood. I just mix all this right in with my, my other wood like uh, old, uh, sometimes I put like soft maple and uh, some birch and aspen cottonwood i just mix all that stuff together for campfire wood sell it for less but that's what i do but yeah it's really a, a different kind of wood uh, the trees as they grow if there's any directional light they will lean to the light and they'll just come right down and they get real heavy as you can see the lean on this one here and these here how they're leaning that's very normal for uh, box elders to actually come down to the point where they touch the ground but I got it all cut up. You can see here the chips, what color they are too. It's kind of neat. Look at that. So yeah, it's it's kind of a kind of a pretty color actually. I would imagine if you could keep it from warping, it would be kind of neat to uh, do slabs of it. I know I've seen videos where guys have done slabs, and uh, it's real pretty. But I just don't know quality wise. It's because it's not a very hard hardwood. It's kind of soft, but the color is pretty as you can see. So. There it is, that one is done. Now we're gonna do this little guy right back here. It's so windy, there's like 30, 40 mile an hour winds. I think I should be able to bring those trees this way if I wedge them, if I notch them and wedge them this way, instead of going that way, I'm gonna to try to bring them this direction as much as I can to keep them off of the wood. We'll see what happens. The wind is gonna help because it's blowing this way. So here we go again. Okay, so here's the deal on this tree right here. This is not gonna be a good one. It's, uh, it's leaning tremendously that direction, but I want it to go that way. So I'll come back here so you can see how much lean there is. It's, uh, it's hard to tell on the camera, but it's leaning like that way a lot. And it's right over the top of my wood piles and it's got a big branch going out to the right there so what i'm going to try to do is i'm going to try to drop it that way as much as we can so i'm going to try to notch it on that side back over here and i'll try to wedge it that way the problem is is box elder is horrible wood for holding for the hinge it's it's like tissue paper um it it busts and tears real easy i mean i've had it where it just snaps right off so it's not good good wood to, to turn at all. Not like, it's not like ash or birch or some of the better woods or oak where the hinge is real strong and you can turn a tree. This stuff usually just snaps. So we'll see what I can do. If I hit the pile, I hit the pile, but I'm gonna try to drop it right where I dropped the other one as much as possible. So we'll see what happens. Here we go.
Well, how do you like them apples? That worked perfect. I turned it about 90 degrees. So it was leaning that way and it brought it all the way over here. So a lot. So here's what I did. I cut the notch here kind of on that side back over here. And then I only cut this side. I left this over here so it, it the whole tree, the whole tree could turn this direction. And it dropped just perfect. I impressed myself on that one. I don't know if it was according to the rule book, but it worked good. The plan came through and perfect. So even the branch that was hanging out missed it. So that's about as much as you can, as much as I can turn a tree. And I didn't even wedge it. The wind pushed it tremendously, which the wind helped probably, I think the wind probably did just as much as the, uh, the hinge back here that I cut so that it could twist. So anyway, there it is, it's on the ground. Like I said, touchdown. The next tree is this one here. It's just a little guy and it's no problem. That one will drop just fine. It's the next one that I'm really worried about. It's this one. Look at the lean on that baby. It's leaning super heavy. I come around to the other side here. Super heavy right over the top of the log or the, it's leaning, it's leaning that way a lot. I mean, Right there, the camera's level, so you get to see the lean on it. And I don't think I can turn this one, but I'm gonna give it a try. I like to drop it in the same spot again as the other one, so, but I got a feeling that's gonna land right over there on that pile, or right in here somewhere. If I can avoid these piles, that would be great, so that's what I'm gonna try to do. So, 
first I'm going to drop this little guy here and then we'll drop the other ones the, the next one in the same spot hopefully Well, that went about like I expected. I, uh, I'm glad I missed this because it was leaning, it should have landed like over here, but I turned it all the way over here, but I couldn't miss that pile. I, I just, it wouldn't swing enough. It was just too much of a lean. And there's no way I could tie a rope over there because that's like a swampy kind of wet area and there's no way to get over there and pull it. But I did hit this uh, pile down here, which I kind of figured I was going to. So I didn't destroy it though. I mean, I can still figure out what's what, how to cut this out of here. I did snap off the top of my uh, walnut tree there, but it'll grow back. It'll just, it'll get bushy up there, I guess. So anyway, there it is. It's on the ground. Another one. Another, another one bites the dust. So yeah, you can see that from here, the lean on that stump. I mean, it was, it's like, it was like over there. So I did bring it. Probably not 90 degrees, maybe 70, I don't know, because it should have landed like over here, but it landed over here. So that's pretty good, I missed all this. And I got all the branches, I can go to this side because that's where I want them to go. So time to cut again.
So the, today's carnage is complete. I just cut down a buckthorn. That's what this, these branches are right here. This one I didn't even turn the camera on for. It was just a little one, nothing too big. It was right here and it was dead. But it's really dense, hard wood. I've never, I mean, I've cut it down before, but never had one big enough that I could cut into rounds. But uh, it's definitely a hard, hard, hard wood. It, uh, I think it'll be really good firewood. So I noticed when I was cutting it, the saw did not like it. It's very, very close rings. So there's that one. So that was standing right here and it was dead. So I opened that up. So I cut a tree back here. Yeah, and then there was the two of them that were right here, the heavy leaners that were right next to these two. And these two I'm gonna leave because they're not really hanging over this way and they're not very big anyway, so they're not hurting anything. I'll let them grow up and I can cut them down when they get bigger. And then all through here, this was all trees before. There's their broke off the top of my walnut tree, but I think it'll come back. It's been beat up a whole bunch of times before and it always comes back, so. I got lots of branches to drag now, and I opened all this up in here, so I got, I'm gonna throw all the branches that way because that's the area where I don't really store wood. And I wanna be able to actually, I'll throw all the rounds right in here and I'll split them and stack them right in this area here. And I wanna push all this stuff back farther uh, because I wanna be able to get wood all the way. Actually, I could do a whole nother roll behind where this pine is right here. I could do a whole nother roll back there once I get this all cleared out. So it'll open up this whole area here so I can, fill all this in and then all the way over to where you see that little tree there that is also walnut tree i'm gonna once i get this ash soil i can have all that opened up and uh so i'll just have big brush piles back here but had opened it up a lot a lot of sky now so that'll help a lot with the drying as far as the sun and it'll also help with uh wind flow um to get uh, the breezes blowing through here to dry wood so wood yard just gets bigger every year i just keep cutting and keep cutting and keep cutting so I think I'm gonna do some branch dragging and chucking now. I think that's what's next. So here we go again. So there it is. Today's carnage is complete. I got the trees cut down, I got the branches chucked, and I brought all the rounds up here where I can split them, because I'll split them right here and then just stack them probably right here. And from what I know from what I cut, I went through just a little over three tanks of gas. And I know from the pile size here, I've got about, I would say at least four face cords or a cord and a third to maybe a cord and a half, somewhere right in that range. Maybe even five face cords, I don't know, but I did okay. I got a little exercise today anyway. It feels good to be outside and actually do something instead of just sitting around. So today was a very good day and I got all this opened up here. The sky is open and the sun can shine and the wind can blow. So the sun is setting right now, so it's pretty much the end of the day and I think that's about all I'm going to get done today. wish I had more time. It's probably about, I don't know, 6 o'clock or so the sun sets now. So I'm going to head back to the truck. I'm going to go sharpen the saws and then tomorrow I have got a big job to do. I'm going to my brother's. Not that brother, the other brother. One you haven't met yet. We're gonna, he's got a little logging job we're going to do. We're going to be cutting some a bunch of red pine and some popple and i think he's got some oak um he's got like 17 acres or something he's got a buddy that's got some trees that are dead and he's the one that's got the wood boiler outside so i'm going to go there and help him cut some wood tomorrow so that's the plan so you should be there i'm going to be there you should be there it'll be fun and uh between now and then you should get outside do some cutting and if you happen to see irene tell her i said good night <laughs> <laughs>